be a beautiful day for football Sunday at Luke Soil Stadium. We're all looking forward to it. Fans will find some exciting, some exciting changes inside the home of the Colts this season. CBS 4's Eric Graves shows us what you need to know. No hammer in my hands, but the anvil is now down amongst the fans. You see it at the beginning of every game with some famous Colts fan smashing it to get everybody ready to go. It's the beginning of a list of new things fans are going to notice inside Lucas Oil this year. The Colts staff is trying to make game day all about the fans. It's always thinking about how can we get the fans more involved? How can we bring uh, game day to them? That's never been more evident than this year. The pregame anvil will now be in Lucas Oil Plaza right next to a huge DJ booth to get the crowd going along with a new drum line called the herd. We really wanted to give fans an opportunity to kind of touch and feel some of those traditions and unique moments. One of the best Sunday traditions, Touchdown Town is back with the very popular $3 Bud Lights. Which um, might be the, one of the cheapest beers in town. As fans enter the stadium, they'll notice a few new aspects, the largest among them being the new field. Lucas Oil Stadium Director Eric Newberger says it's state of the art, made of organic material like coconut husk and cork and safer for the players. The turf plays much more like uh, a, a grass field than than a, a artificial turf, but it is an artificial turf. It is noticeable in a good way. If the field looks a bit brighter than years past, Newberger says that's because it is. The grass blades are a little bit smaller in this uh, in this material than we've had in the past. Uh, it really looks sharp. The colors really pop. Hungry fans will also notice about 10 new food items at concession stands, along with some classics from one of Indy's most well-known chefs. Concessions are also going above and beyond that typical stadium food again this year, like with Master Chef Kelsey Murphy's Ultimate Grilled Cheese. We got Carrier, Fontina, we got Swiss and American cheese for that like good melty. Looking to the sky with good weather this Sunday, the roof could be open. A mechanical issue in the preseason caused some problems, but we're told that's been resolved. We've been opening the roof every day since uh, just, uh, just to exercise it and make sure everything's working great. It's been 243 days since the Colts last took the field for a serious game. Just three more to go. In Lucas Oil, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.